Alright friends, welcome back to another video on Liveware. Before we start, let me share you one thing. And recently I discovered one feature on YouTube dashboard where we can see subscribers count on real time. And once I click that features, I saw the screen similar to this. And the numbers were increasing and the chart wasn't updating like this one. Because no one was subscribing to this channel uh, while I was viewing this exact feature. And later I thought, why didn't make the exact features with liveware and see how it will look if lots of people are subscribing to this channel so I did the same so let me show you how it will look if lots of people are subscribing to this channel so now let me refresh the page and then this is updating on real time and this chart is also updating on real time see how cool this is so if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe to this channel for amazing videos like this and in this video for charts we'll be using apex chart and then for this pulse animation we'll be using animate.css and for the real time functionality we'll be using wire pull functionality of liveware so let's get started okay let's start by creating the component first so let's do psp audition make liveware let's give it a name called analytics Now let's create a route. So let me go to route slash admin.psp file and over here let's define a route get route analytics and the component is analytics plus analytics. Then let's import this class and it got imported now if we visit that url let's say admin slash analytics and we see this space but actually we don't want to see this space we'll be using a different layout so so for that let's create a different layout so to create a layout let me go to resources views layouts and let me give it a name called real-time.blade.psp and I have already created the design using Tailwind CSS so let me paste that over here okay so now let's modify this uh, we have already installed liveware styles and then liveware scripts so let me remove this from here and let's add a slot Okay, so and then let me go to analytics.blade.psp file and then let me paste it here and then let me go back to the browser and refresh the page we see this actually we don't want to use this layout so to fix this let me go to analytics component class and over here we can do layout and the layout is inside of layers dot real time okay, we'll be using this layout fix this and it got fixed and we see this design this is fine so now let's start by adding chart over here so let me go to apex chart and let's install the chart first let me copy this from here and let me paste it over here okay and if we go to get started and then creating our first chart let me copy this code from here let me go back to that file and over here let's do push to the stack called yes and push and let me paste that inside of the script tag okay fine i have already created that div with the id of chart so let me save this and go back and refresh the page and then this is not working so let me go back to main layouts file and then let's add the step called Yes, okay. Let me refresh this, and this is working perfect. 
so now let's change this height because this is too big so let's change that height so let me go to analytics embedded php file and over here let's add another property called height and then let's do 250 pixel and this looks good now let's make this dynamic so let's do that for this let's go to analytics component class and then over here let's define a public property let's say public and then days actually i want to display like june 14 june 15 june 16 to like june 24 so let's do that let me create a mount method mount method over here and over here we can say this days equals to let's create a collection of range from 13 to 24 and uh, let's map over these numbers and we can return zoom and the number now we can use this days let me do die and down this days and we got the area of zone 13 to zone 24 okay fine perfect okay fine so we can use this variable in our analytics.blade.php file and on categories let me remove this and we can use the directory called json to use that variables in our javascript so the variable name is days right let me refresh it and it got added over here which is perfect uh, now over here it is saying cells so instead of cells let's change this to subscribers and let's change these numbers as well so let me copy the random numbers and then let me go to analytics and over here let's create a public property called subscribers and paste it over here and let's use these variables in our blade file so let me go to analytics.blade.php and over here let's remove this and then use our variable that is subscribers let me refresh it and it got changed perfect now the remaining thing is to update these numbers and chart on real time so let's do that so in live there is one directory called wire pool so let's use that directory over here where pool and then we are going to call the method called let's say fetch data okay so let's create that method on our component class so the mount method called fetch data and let me do die and down here to show you let me save it and refresh it now on every two seconds this method is getting called so if i remove this it is called again if i remove this it is called again now let's create a public property called let's say recent subscribers so over here we can do recent subscribers is let's say five five six okay let's use this variable in our build file over here let's use recent subscribers okay let me refresh it and we are getting that value and we can change this let me go to analytics component class and over here let's do this recent subscribers plus equals 10 let's add 10 on that recent subscribers so now let me go back refresh the page and this will get 
updated every two seconds and we are adding 10 on the current subscribers count right which is profit but this graph got disappeared so we need to fix that and then we need to make that real time as well so over here let me comment this and let me create a variable called subscribers okay so now we need to increase this last number right so to do that let's do array replace and we want to replace this subscribers array and we want to replace to the specific index of 10 and on that number we will be doing this recent subscribers plus equals 10 okay now if i do dial down the subscribers let's see what it will give now let me refresh the page and we got 566 profit over here on this number we added 10 which is profit and then let's emit the event call let's say refresh start let's do this emit the event called refresh start and we will be passing data as well with the key of uh, series data with the value of subscribers okay now we need to listen for this event and then update our chart so let's do that we got the analytics .psp file and over here let's do document add even listener let's listen for the liveware load event and once the liveware is loaded and over here we can listen for the event that we got fired from these from that method so we can listen for that event using this dot on refresh let's say refresh chart we'll be receiving chart data okay. and we can do chart dot update update series this is specific to uh, apex chart so to update uh, this series we need to do chart dot update series and then we passing array and inside of variable we passing the object with the data chart data dot series data right let me fix this okay let me go back here we are firing the event called refresh chart and we are passing the key called series data with this value and on our other file we are listening for that event and we are receiving chart data and we are updating the series using chart.update series and we are passing the data as chart data dot series data okay and it will be changed over here so now let me save this go back and refresh the page let's see yes it is updating right it is perfect but this is showing the animation every time so let's disable that animation so to disable that animations we can do animations and enable is false okay let me go back refresh the page and it got disabled and it is changing over here which is perfect and this number is also changing now let's make it more intuitive using animation as well so let me go to this website and over documentation over here let's install this animate CSS let me go to realtime.blu.php which is the main yours file so over here let me paste that and for infinite animation let me search for infinite and over here let me copy this one let me go to analytics.blu.php file and we'll be updating this and let me change this instead of animate bounce we'll be using animate pulse and we need to add another class called animate infinite for infinite animation okay so let me refresh the page 
and we see this animated perfect let's animate this number as well so let me copy the same thing from here and over here let me paste it let me refresh it and this is working so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel is up uploading the videos like this till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one